Oh, hey. So, we've been noticing some caterpillar poop on our tomato plants out in our tomato alley. So, in this video, we're going to show you how we're going to use BT spray for our garden. And we're going to start right now. What's going on, YouTube Gardener? It's your boy, Sydney from the Naked Gardener. In this video, after watching it, you're going to learn the uses of BT. Now, with BT, it is a bacteria that causes, once a caterpillar ingests it, to stop the life cycle by the leaves of your plants, that it will uh, give them a virus in their stomach to stop the life cycle so it won't continue uh, disturbing your plants. Now, with BT, uh, the certain type of caterpillars that this will work on are going to be uh, the hornworms, whether it's a tomato or tobacco hornworm, a corn borer, which this time of the year is, you're not going to find that much corn, but if you do uh, have any corn during the summer time frame, you can use this as well. And you can also use this to prevent or disturb the life cycle of any webworm. So what we're going to do, we've been noticing some caterpillar poop in our tomato plants in our toma tomato alley. So we're going to try to disturb the life cycle of it so it doesn't cause any more of the caterpillar to harm our tomato plants. Now we can't find the tomato uh, caterpillar that's causing the uh, eating up the plants. So we just ordered a, a black uh, flashlight. So that way uh, we'll be able to come out, out, out at night to find what type of worms are doing this and be able to pick them off and get rid of them. But for right now, this should help uh, disturb the life cycle. So all you're going to need is a uh, BT. And you don't really need this, but I like using this when every time I'm doing any type of uh, pesticide sprays. It's just a organic dish soap that doesn't have any perfumes or dyes or anything of that nature some water and a spray you can use a hand spray this we got from i think either home depot or lowe's very cheap and i like about it is because you can spray it upside down you know you just pump it upside down and all of that. so what we're going to do is put i'm going to shake this up a little bit we're going to put about a tablespoon this inside of here and just a few squirts of the dish soap and this kind of act as a surfactant to where it'll help uh, stay on the leaves and help coat the leaves we're going to shake this up and I always do it in a gallon jug because it's easy to, most of these um, directions on any type of pesticides or whatever type of thing that you put on there, it says give you a ratio of whatever many ounces per, per uh, gallon. So we just put it straight into the gallon instead of trying to figure out what to do for our pint or anything like that. So we just shake it up and then we're going to pour this in here. ounces and then once we even put it in here we're going to shake it up some more and next we're going to go over to the tomato alley and show you uh, where the, uh, the we've been noticing the caterpillar poop
All right, so this is our tomato alley where we've been noticing caterpillar poop. So what we're gonna do is just shake it up, pump it up to get it to, um, to activate this spray, get the pressure going. And we wanna make sure we get all parts of the tomato plant from underneath to the top. And yes, I know I gotta prune some of these leaves but it's just this simple. And if you can even look over here, babe, show another uh, tail you can uh, see that you have uh, caterpillars eating your plants is all these missing leaves area right here. Just chew it right off. Just chew it right off. But, and then also every time you move to another plant, make sure you shake it up. Make sure you get the underneath of it. Got some missing leaves all right there. Just want to saturate it. And then I'm gonna come on the other side and that's basically all that you need to do. Another thing you want to take a mind of is when you're spraying this, make sure that you spray in the evening time so that way the sun doesn't bake uh, your leaves in, in anything. And if it rains, you wanna uh, apply this again another 24 hours. So we're gonna finish this up and then call it a day and then uh, if you like these kind of type pesticide tips, I'm going to put a link to our playlist above here in the card. So that way you can view some other uh, pesticide uh, videos. And until the next time, let's grow together. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and shut the door behind you because the sun's coming through. <laughs> or retarded. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>